everybody! Hope that you are doing well. It is Monday, the 16th of March 2020. As you know, the uh, New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ uh, have been gone through a very, very, very rough uh, stretch similar to, well, 1929 is the only other historical parallel that you can look at. And I think it's interesting that the idea is being floated to uh, stop trading on the New York Stock Exchange until things become clear and until the, the uh, current panic uh, feeling has come to an end. Remember, the worst thing about uh, market crashes, market uncertainty is that people don't know the facts. They don't know why they should be scared. They don't know why they should be selling. They don't know why other people are selling in the market. They have no idea. Is this uh, influenza as serious as other ones in history? Uh, what, what's really going on? A lot of people are saying there's something underneath the surface that uh, the government's not really telling us. Who knows? But in this type of environment, there is precedent for closing the exchange. And sometimes the exchange has been closed, believe it or not, for as long as four months. At the end of August of 1914, the stock market closed for four months with the outbreak of hostilities in World War I. There was a lot of confusion at that time about uh, who the good guys were and who the bad guys were and how things could have uh, have could, they could have gotten such to a bad point that uh, England and France had gone to war, uh, you know, against uh, uh, Germany. So it was it was very disconcerting to the investment world. A lot of people were had mixed loyalties and they had mixed feelings about the outbreak of World War One, and uh, prices began to plummet in anticipation of that. So the New York Stock Exchange, uh, the Board of Governors took a vote to close the exchange and it remained closed for four months. Now of course we know after that period of closure uh, when the dust had settled it kicked off a tremendous period of American expansion and probably boosted uh, the United States to the preeminent uh, economic power it remains today as the United States sold war armaments and uh, weapons of war and ships and Eventually ended up committing troops in 1917 to the uh, to the conflagration. Well, were those four months uh, justified? Did they help preserve values in the market? Some would say yes, they did. Of course, in 9/11, the market was closed, I believe, for a four-day period after the 9/11 terrorist attacks because they want to give people a chance to digest the news and not do something in haste that they might regret later. So history tells us that it may not be the worst thing in the world in times of uncertainty and unknowable facts to preserve uh, uh, capital and at least allow things to uh, play out a little bit so that information can come forward and people can, uh, uh, can understand what's really going on in the world around it because right now people are flying blind and there remains a lot of panic. Well, that's just a little bit of uh, a foray into the history of closures on the New York Stock Exchange. So something I believe that's probably under serious consideration uh, at this very moment. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching.